Huntsman32 here. Hope you guys are doing good. Uh, today on the show, we're going to be going over a full assembly of a Glock pistol. Uh, today, we got a Glock 19 Gen 4. Uh, Glock's pretty much universal. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that the firearm is clear. And the firearm is clear. Next, we're going to field strip it. Now, do keep in mind that if you go beyond this point, you will void the warranty. Set the slide aside. So, with Glocks, it's a three-pin system. So, you have these two pins in the front and then one in the rear for your back strap. Or it's actually to hold your trigger housing. Um, so the first time you dissemble this, uh, normally your bottom pin is going to give you trouble, uh, cause it holds the slide block. So what I do, well, what you should do <laughs> is when you punch this, uh, bottom pin out is give that slide lock a little wiggle and that'll slide right out and you knock your top pin out that one always seems to go a little rugged sometimes then after your top pins out you pull your slide lock And this rail set comes out and you punch your back pin and your whole trigger grouping comes out it's supposed to anyway now if you're doing a 25 cent trigger job, your points of access are going to be the top of this trigger bar. If it's a Gen 4, I I also hit the trigger bar bump because it does create friction. Also, another spot you'll want to hit for your 25 cent trigger job is right here on this T-ramp. And then the front side of your connector. If you're changing that connector, you can actually take this trigger bar off, you pop it off your connector, and then you lift up, and actually this whole system will come out, and you can change your spring. You can change your spring, and you can uh, pop your connector out and change your connector. And that's it for your frame. Now onto your slide. The first thing you want to do, I normally lock my striker back. Then you're going to take your punch and you're going to press down on this sleeve right here in front of the striker. And once you have that slid down, your back plate will pop down. Might give you a little trouble the first time. You want to remember to keep your thumb present because the extractor rod will actually, could potentially spring out. So slide your striker out. You slide your extractor rod out. Then you slide your extractor out. Sometimes it might give you a little trouble. And then your safety button. Or your safety lock button. Now, that does have a spring on it. So be careful you don't lose that spring. Sometimes it does stay inside the slide. 
Now, I will also tell you on these strikers that what keeps this spring in place is two clips right here. Uh, you can depress this spring and these two clips will actually fall apart and then you can slide this whole housing and sleeve and all off from the striker if you planned on putting in a skeletonized or a lighter striker. Um, I'm not going to show you that today because it is a pain in the butt to put it back together. So, all right, let's go over a reassembly. So the first thing, oh, scratch that. So if you're doing a 25 cent trigger job, you're going to want to polish this button. And then on the front of your striker, this lip right here. Those are the only two points. Now we'll go over reassembly. So you want to drop your button in. Like so. Then you want to put your extractor arm in. And that slides right back into place. And then put your extractor rod in. And always make sure that the plastic tip is facing the rear. Drop your extractor arm a couple times, it's good for it. And then after that's in, and you pop your striker back in. And what I normally do after everything's together is kind of mess with it a little bit to get that striker to lock into place. So push down on your your lock button and then kind of play with that striker a little bit. Now putting back on your back plate. You want to make sure that the ridges face you and the round goes to the top. So what I normally do is I start it in just a little bit. Then you're going to take your punch and you're going to depress the striker sleeve. And that'll allow you to move up to the extractor rod. And then you depress your extractor rod and push your plate up a little more. And it pops right back into place. And then what I usually do is just to make sure it's going to function properly. Now your slides are reassembled and your frame. Your trigger housing drops back into place. You drop your trigger in first, and then the back side should slide back in. And your rail. Now that your trigger housing is back in, you pop your third pin back in. I always go put my pins in the same way I took them out. I, it's, Something I've always done, I figure if they go come out that way, they'll go back in that way. So, pop your third pin back in. Then, pop your rail back in, which I already did that. Then, put your first pin in. And the reason being is, I'll teach you guys a little trick. The reason being is because this slide lock actually sits under your first pin. It's at the top of that spring. So it's a lot easier to put your top pin in and then slide that slide lock in under. And then slide your second pin in. Then it is to pin that in and fight with it. And then reassemble. The rest of your slide, you drop your barrel in. 
drop your compression spring in. Then functions test. Thank you guys for joining the show. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And I got a lot more good material coming for you guys. So, some more gunsmithing videos and uh, some actually in depth gunsmithing videos. It's going to be pretty sweet. And then uh, blowing some stuff up. Who doesn't like blowing stuff up, right? Thank you guys very much. I hope you all have a good day.